This past week, I've been diving deep into the new DeepSeek version 3 model, and it's nothing short of a game changer. It's an open source powerhouse, which is three times faster than version 2. It outperforms both GPT-4 Omni and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, especially in coding based tasks, but with many other different categories like math as well as reasoning. And what's great is that it is 53 times cheaper than Sonnet 3.5. It's insanely powerful, capable of handling complex benchmarks, and best of all, you can run this locally. Today, I'm back again to showcase how you can use the DeepSeek version 3 model with DeepSeek artifacts. This combo lets you effortlessly create anything while enjoying live visualizations like you would with Anthropic's artifacts, where you can practically generate any sort of code and have a visualization on the side. Now, this is something that has strong capabilities with React and Tailwind generation, and it's a tool that makes building incredibly easy for you. The great part is, is that DeepSeek Artifacts is completely free, where you can utilize it off of this versatile app, where you're going to be able to easily prompt up whatever you'd want, and you can see the visualization on the bottom section. This is obviously just an example, but we're going to be showcasing this further in detail. But this is essentially an open source app that will allow anyone to easily create anything. One thing they stated that responses are saved in the open data set. This is something that you can access off of Hugging Face. But essentially, this is where your responses are going to be saved and you can interact with this platform to receive responses like code suggestions or interactions or any sort of instruction that you'd want to see. But it's going to be able to give you a good visualization of what was generated in the past with this app. One thing I also realized is that it doesn't actually work with raw HTML and this is because they use Sandpack to put the React code into the app PSX file and to basically render it. So currently it's not going to be working with HTML, raw HTML, it only will be working with React and you're going to be able to start generating anything. For example, you can say create me a Twitter clone. You can go ahead and send this in. And it's going to go ahead and generate the code within the app TSX file as well as the index HTML. And it will basically segment into three different uh, files in this case. And once it has finished generating, you're going to be able to visualize it on the bottom. So let's go ahead and wait this through. And it looks like it is finished. This is a pretty cool Twitter clone that it was capable of generating within a couple of seconds. And you can see all three of the files have been uh, generated. And this is a functional Twitter clone. You can see you have the menu bar. You're going to be able to add your tweets. And this was something that was capable of generating quite quickly. Something to note is that you can actually go ahead and open this up in the sandbox. This is going to allow you to easily download your code locally. In this case, the sandbox will easily also allow you to visualize and edit the code. So this gives you more configurations to edit the display of what you had generated. And if you want to download this, you can go ahead and click on, I believe, uh, any file. And you can simply go ahead, right click and click on download. And this will allow you to install all of the uh, different files that have been generated by AI locally. If you actually go down to the carousel, you can see all the different types of apps that have been created by various sorts of users. And this is something that is quite high quality, guys. You can easily build front ends as well as apps with this tool quite easily. Now, one thing I would love to suggest is that if you're able to iterate further on this, that'd be awesome. Or you can say, can you change the color of the button to red maybe? So if you can actually iterate further on an iteration rather than having it generate new code, that would be optimal. But in this case, I guess you can go back into the sandbox and edit it over there. But it'd be easier if you can just do it simpler through the artifact uh, like feature that you can see over here. Now, next up, I'm going to have it create a finance web uh, app that's going to allow me to track my income and expenses. And I'm asking it to use ShadCN for the UI components. Let's see if it's capable of doing this. I don't think so, but let's hope if it's capable of doing this, that'd be awesome. But I'm going to have it generate the code and we should have a visualization of it soon. And there we go. We have the finance tracker web app and it looks like it didn't use 
the chat CM packages, but it was still capable of generating uh, this app for us, which does look like it works. And you're going to be able to add your transactions, which you can see over here. So it is working, but now we're going to have it generate something even more intricate. Now I'm going to have it create an interactive code collaboration platform. Now this is something new, but essentially it's a platform where you can visualize uh, code snippets, you can input code, and it's going to allow anyone to easily output in real time. So this is something that it was capable of generating. We're going to go ahead and click on the full icon button. I believe if you are to, there should be a button over here that can open the app up. But it was able to generate this over here where you have code snippets. You can actually visualize it on the bottom. But it doesn't look like there's anything. So it's providing a error message. And you have the ability to turn on dark or light mode which doesn't seem to be working exactly but this was something that it was capable of generating now it looks like i cracked the code what you can do is you can actually tag the file name and this is by simply going ahead and putting in the at sign and then putting in app.tsx and say could you can you please add more features to this app and you can also specify something by changing something within this live editor. So say if you want to take out something or edit, you can actually do so within this code editor that you have over here. Now, what I really like about this app builder is that it can easily generate things quite quickly, like you would see with Grok as well as with Cerebras uh, Coder. In this case, I had it create the game of life within max, I believe, uh, 20 seconds. Let's say 20 seconds. but you can see that it was able to easily generate this within a couple of seconds. And this is a great way for you to easily generate anything on the web completely for free. But that's essentially it, guys, for uh, DeepSeek Artifacts. This is definitely a great way for you to easily use the new version 3 model for you to easily generate anything with this artifact visualization viewer. Now, I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below, as well as the sandbox, as well as the hugging face. Uh, react code instructions so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching huge props to the creator of this project caleb for developing this and making it accessible for anyone to use make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of ai by joining our private discord plus on top of that gaining access to different subscriptions like lovable as well as anything lm completely for free Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And if you want to follow me, you can be my 4,000th uh, follower. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.